All right, so in this one, we are gonna make it so when we add a new cart item, it's automatically adding another line item to the cart. It's no longer gonna change or update that cart item that's in there. It's actually just gonna add it to the cart. So we would have multiple carts uh, depending on where we're at. So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna look at our get or create object here. And instead of doing that, we are gonna actually create a new object every time. So we might even wanna call this add to cart instead of update cart, cause we will need to make a brand new function for updating the cart. Cause it's gonna be a little bit different than what we're doing here. Uh, or at least it's gonna be a lot different, I should say. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna change this to add to cart. Cause our function, it's getting a little bit smarter. So we'll, we have to, or it's getting a little bit heavier, a little bit denser. So we'll have to actually make some changes to our function and also how our URLs and our views and all that stuff works. So let's go ahead and do that. And update cart is now add to cart, add to cart. And then in our single.html, uh, it's also gonna be add to cart. Okay. So now in our add to cart, uh, well, we also need to change our home or our view. This will also be add to cart. Or actually, for now, I'm going to leave this as nothing. So just a hash. Okay, so now in our add to cart function, we want to change a few things. This, I actually don't have to do that. You don't have to write a whole list out and iterate through everything. You can actually just add items directly to it from a list. Um, by adding a star at the beginning of it. Uh, it would be nice to just add the list, but if you add that star, then it's recognized and it'll add each item uh, in that uh, list of items. So in this case, the list has to have the instances that it's related to, otherwise there'll be errors, definitely. Um, so now that we have this, we can even just, we don't even have to have this necessarily, uh, but I'll leave it just in case, um, just extra checking. All right, so now we're not gonna do a get or create, we are just gonna do a create. It's gonna create products or cart and the product, and then we can get rid of created. And if created, we can get rid of all that. Okay, so now um, if cart item is zero, delete it. We don't really need to do that, right? Um, Cause, it, well, actually it's not even gonna create it or shouldn't even create it if the cart item is zero. Um, so if the cart item zero, we'll have to do something else with it. So let's just leave that up here instead. And I'll delete these because updating cart is going to be somewhere different, right? So this is now it's creating the cart and then it's updating, adding any variations. If there, are, if the needs adds variations, it adds them on there. Uh, we don't really need to clear them out anymore because we're not really updating it, right? So like we can get rid of that too. We're really just adding the variations, uh, but I'm just gonna leave it if it's if the list is greater than that, because we still wanna make sure that we are getting variations going through. Um, and also if the quantity is greater than zero, that's when we'll actually run through everything. Because if the quantity is not, there's no real reason for us to do anything. Um, so if it's less than zero, then we will just return the back going back to the cart. So, and I'm gonna leave this outside of the if clause. So if it's not post or it's returning zero, it's just gonna go directly to cart and not do anything. Um, all right, so now that we have this, let's uh, let's go through here just real quick and check things out. Um, so cart item total, this is gonna be the same. Like a lot of this stuff is still the same, but we just cleaned it up to where our cart items are now added each time, right? So we'll have multiple cart items. So let's actually try this out and go into our product, product one. Uh, looks like we're having some issues with that. So let's see why. Single um, add to cart should work. I'm thinking it might have to do with our add to cart since we just changed a bunch of views up. Oh, uh, no, that should work, okay. I'll just restart the server. I just made a bunch of code changes, so uh, it, it sometimes will happen this way where it's not gonna work perfectly. So in our products, what I'm gonna do is instead of raising the HTTP 404, I'm gonna see what's going on. So basically what, what it's doing here is it's trying to get that item, 
and if it's not working it's not going to show up all right so we refresh and it says no reverse for update cart so i shouldn't have update cart anywhere in my single.html but let's go ahead and look for it update cart oh it's a commented out part all right so back in our view let's i'm just gonna put everything back to how it was all right now it's showing up all right so in our single we had to get rid of all of the urls for update cart okay so now let's go ahead and add a new variance so we have product one we're going to do four medium green add it and if i refresh in here i don't actually see all of my products so let's go ahead and look at our cart and see why so in view cart, we have our carts here. Um, it's getting the cart. It is the right cart object, or at least it should be, uh, but it's not getting all the items. So let's go ahead and look at our view. And we see that it should be going through all the cart items, but for some reason it's not. So let's go ahead and check out what's in the cart item set. And it's still saying those same cart items. So let's try that one more time. Add a new product to cart. Yeah, it's not doing it. So let's go ahead and go admin. I'm going to log out. Let's try it from scratch. Yeah, so it's not actually adding it to the cart. Um, so our add to cart is not actually working. So let's go back into add to cart. And let's see why. All right, so it's creating the cart item right here. At least it should be. Um, and it should be post data. So let's make sure in our single that we're sending post. And we are. And we have the product slug coming through, okay. So let's actually see what's going on here. Pre cr create print cart item. Okay, add the cart item. It's not creating the cart item. And cart items, yeah, it's still not, it's not actually even creating the cart item, so it doesn't even get there. Um, so for that reason, let's actually just get rid of this quantity that might be part of the problem. So I got rid of that quantity, unindented everything. Go into product, add to cart, there we go. So now it's actually adding to cart and product add to cart. There we go, product, and let's change it to medium, green, add to cart, and there we go. So now it's actually doing it where it's adding each cart item, right, as we see. So for some reason that if quantity is not polling correctly so we'll have to come back to change that so if the quantity is zero we want to we definitely want to make sure that that's actually coming through correctly um, so let's see on my view I'm gonna get rid of that top part all right so now we can actually see the amount of cart items that we have um, in our cart and it's actually adding it will keep adding them like we can't actually remove them right it's just gonna keep adding them it does calculate everything for us uh, unfortunately, it's not grouping the products together, like so the name of the product, it's not actually grouping those together, uh, which is maybe something we can work on at some point. But at, th at this phase, we can now see that, okay, well, I can actually add multiple products with the different um, attributes or uh, variations that we want. I can have the quantities and we would have to set up something that would actually change these things, uh, which we still will do. Um, and also remove it. But basically that is how we would add products um, to the cart with using these multiple different quantities um, and variations. So if you wanted to keep it where it's just one product and multiple quantities, then the other way we did it works out really well. But when we wanna have multiple products with multiple variations of that product, we have to add them individually. There's really no other way to do it. Um, so then what we would do here is then we would probably want to track the cart item ID or the set of the cart item IDs into a list that we could use in our session. So then we can remove those from our session at any time that we want. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that um, actually in the next one.